you're almost at the top. You've only got one more die to place. Don't breathe too hard. Stop your hand from shaking and place. <sighs> You'll have to work together to keep this tower standing in Teeter Tower, which was designed by Aaron Crow and Ryan Scott and published by GameRight, who helped sponsor this video. Hey everyone, my name is Mike Murphy, the Brothers Murphy, and I'm here with Board Game Geek. Well, this tower's looking a little shaky, so let's get right down to the table to go a little more in focus on Teeter Tower. Teeter Tower is a competitive dexterity game where players will be placing dice on a precarious tower and then placing the next tile on top of that. Players will win if they place all the tiles and then successfully place the capstone tile and die on the tippy top. And they will lose if any dice fall off the tower. On their turn, the active player will take four dice out of the bag and roll them. They will then choose one of the face-up tiles. You will carefully place the tile on the tower with the new tile lining up with the tile beneath it like this. That is, unless the tile below is a twisted tile. Depending on the difficulty, you may have some twisted tiles. When you place a new tile above a twisted tile, the new tile must match the dotted outline on the twisted tile like so. You must then add at least one of your new dice to the newly placed tile, though you may add up to all four. Each tile has a color, either blue, green, or red, and will have numbered spaces. You may place any colored die in the numbered space as long as the number matches the space like the sixes here. You may place any numbered die on the color spaces as long as the color of the die matches the tile color like this. And you may have a die overlap a color and number space as long as it matches for both. So this red three can overlap like this because it matches the tile color and the number space. Your goal is to try to build the most sturdy base possible so the next player has a solid foundation to place their tile on. Once the tile and dice have been placed on the tower, the next player will take their turn. If the players manage to go through all of the tiles the next player will place the capstone tile and the capstone die in its place. If they do that, the players win. If any dice fall off the tower, if the tower falls over, or if you run out of dice before finishing the tower, all players lose. And that is a quick look at Teeter Tower. Teeter Tower is a tough game of wanting to build the most solid foundation you can while also being restricted by the spaces on the tile and what you roll. Sometimes you may be able to place all four dice and have a rock solid tower, but sometimes you may only get to place one die and that tower is looking a little shaky. <laughs> and if Teeter Tower it seems like a game that you would enjoy, be sure to check out its page at BoardGameGeek.com. Until next time, I'm Mike Murphy and we've been going in focus on Teeter Tower. Have a great day.